Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support, being able to resonate and knowing we're all on the same wavelength and we're going through all these trials and tribulations to be able to strengthen us and give us knowledge and food for thought. It's a great blessing even though we got to go through it in the most horrendous way so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you um have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you um are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impact your life and head you towards positive direction also if you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes or you know good information you would love to share with the fellow empath loved one or even a friend that's going through some really dark times and needs some validation or confirmation please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you so much for the love and support that you're giving me um and i'm returning it and giving it to you and i love you from the bottom of my heart and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today my beautiful meditation i'm listening to it kind of reminds me of us hey okas because it has that doo -doo -doo, you know the drumming uh native american uh beat to it to me it's called Healing Miracle Tone, 528 Hertz, Positive Energy Cleanse, uh, the best native native uh, music, meditation, chill out. And I'll go ahead and post that link in the description box below. I was saying it was Native American. I didn't see the whole title there. But um, today I'm going to go ahead and um, talk about the signs to know you have connected with a sociopath or a psychopath i mean it's just you know uh, lost puppy had brought that up in a um in a comment uh was it yesterday or earlier today i don't know i got so many different comments that came in and i said you know what i've never talked about that and that's not the first time i've heard you know you know psychopath or a sociopath pop up in and um in my comments and it just seems crazy for us being empaths we tends to we tends like i'm talking like back in the old days we tends to sit up here and gravitate towards crazy people you know they already say we're already different ourselves i shouldn't use the word the term crazy but we can get some crazy deranged you know thin line between love and hate american psycho like christian bell you know stuff like that and i actually like that movie but anybody can sit up here and work out the texas chainsaw massacre i don't want to meet you okay but it's just the fact is i've been in a relationship with the sociopath the ones that are very anti-social but got all these little weird tendencies that you know want to lash out or whatever and got the so sociopath i mean psychopaths that tend to have these violent tendencies because it seems like to me through my journey reading up the things that i know you know i've not been to school for sociology and all this stuff so i you know i'm just going off of based off of my experience off the things i've learned you know um I give props to anybody who went to school for this, but I really feel like when you get down and dirty, especially when it comes to drug addiction, being in a physical, any kind of abuse, you have to be able to learn firsthand so you can be able to connect with people. So they are just like, okay, are they reading from the textbook or are they going, through, you know, they're telling me they're learning this and they're trying to help me out, find my way out you know because they dealt with this you know and i've dealt with this you know my my father he's he's sociopath and a psychopath you know i'm um, going through that where they feel like they don't do anything wrong they can't find fault in the things that they do they're able to be charming and endearing you know being able to put this facade up until they hook line and sinker you and then you see all these little crazy hoot hoot nineties coming all out and all that stuff and it's just like i had to learn to detach myself about Around situations like that because it really messed me up in the head made me think that you know these things are everything's my fault to a point where you know my, my stepmom was like that 
is the same way where they felt like, you know, I even had my father, if you know my situation, you know, if you don't go watch the intro and watch my uh, adoption story, I just don't feel like going through the whole story. Again, if you haven't, you, you know, if you've been on my channel and you're just now starting, if you want to learn more about me, the things that I've went through, I just don't want to talk about it every video. I don't want that being the subject of every video I go through. But if you really want to know more about me, watch my past video about my adoption story and my intro so you'll know why I start making videos and it, it really blessed me and humbled me to go do these things because it gave me strength in places that I really didn't feel like I would be able to make it from I felt like I was dying inside you know losing a parent is already hard enough but knowing you know when family was involved and they knew about it and they kept you away that was a lot of stuff you had to heal from and being able to know I was just like I had to really start looking at this stuff and it's just like I've always heard sociopaths, psychopaths and all this stuff but being able to read on it and knowing those are the ones that need the most healing in the first place that's why they gravitate towards us so much we have to be able to learn from them as they're learning from us and that's a crazy situation to put ourselves in because it's just scary where I mean there's times I don't literally broke down and cried when I can watch some of these YouTube videos where you know they just had a woman in DeKalb County or Cobb County in Atlanta where she was on Facebook and this dude literally beat the hell out of her broke I mean her face looked I mean she was very disfigured and they felt like oh she was a crackhead no woman should ever be able to put now if you put yourself in a man's situation and keep thumping on him and stuff like that I don't believe in that you know you shouldn't put yourself in a man's face I don't did that before but it's just like if I'm defending myself that's a whole different story because you put your hands on me I'm gonna try to knock the hell out of you I don't play that but I'm just saying I don't never put myself in a man's place to make me think that you know you can do stuff like that but if you're defending yourself that's a whole different story but it's just like when we're when we're empaths, you know, sometimes that can be scary if you're, you know, you deal with a narcissist. My 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 adopted father was like a narcissist on top of a sociopath and a psychopath wrapped up in one, you know, going through all that different stuff, you know, and it was like a really bad thing where, you know, my dad, my adopted told dad even told me with him even being a preacher he has done nothing wrong for him not to go to heaven i'm like god dog you and god like that you think god has got you you got god like that on you and i said you know what lord let me just pray for him extra time because you know ooh, okay let me sit on myself you know what i'm saying but it's just like now i can actually say that without crying not being upset because i know if y'all would have seen me when i first did this this is like almost year two for me doing this and uh well yes close to two years over a little bit over two years now um been doing this and um being able to look at the situations i'm in you know i still cry a little bit when it comes to my dad missing my dad because that was a lot of stuff to go through but being able to make these videos knowing i can look at my situation and say you know what is strengthen me to know that when we have came across people that are like this this is that year for us to break that cycle so you know sometimes you can be around people like that you tend to pick up some of their bad habits you know I've known people that they had sociopaths as parents and they tend to bring up those tendencies towards them I even had it at times where I had to break that I'm like oh no I don't want my children to ever look at me like that in that light you know I even my me and my oldest daughter still go through that from time to time me and my youngest kids you know they're all grown you know I got one that's 24 one that's 21 and one is 18 you know the two youngest ones you know we had our little talk or whatever but they you know they've been exposed to certain situations but we're able to say you know what mom has changed mom has really went through a lot of things and she's you know she's you know taking things in a positive direction my oldest one I still have issues with because she still deals with the grandparents and they try to you know <laughs> try to talk my daughter against me and stuff like that but it takes time you know and I, I I'm, I'm still dealing with situations like that and it can become hard because it's just a fact is you know my two youngest ones don't deal with my my, my adopted parents my stepmom my, my dad but my oldest one does so that's a hard situation to go through knowing they're the ones who put me in the situation I'm in but being able to know I'm healing from these situations has really humbled me but looking at the situations you know that they can be charming 
you know, you have to pay attention to red flags. You know, are they quick to snap? Are they, you know, they're, they're being clingy. Um, dealing with folks like that, you know, they can be very charming, like night on shine and armor. I've dealt with stuff like that. You know, being able to know that my current, <laughs> you know, ending relationship was like that. And, you know, I had females coming at me with all the drama, like, you did this, you did that to him and this and this and that. But, you know, I'm just like, oh, Lord, he done got his hands in you too. And, you know, it got situations like that where, you know what I said, they deal with him if they want to. They'll find out how he is later on in life. I just, I'm, I'm working on me. So it, it's just like when you're going through situations like that, knowing, you know, you have to be quick to, you know, they, they tend to go for people that has been and um broken homes broken relationships you know they're wearing because it's just like when i can see the people that i've interacted with the you know the people that i know there's dated people like that they have had insecurity issues they you know they had eating disorders they you know all these different things they had a tendency to get the men that you know beat up on them and all this stuff you know connecting with stuff like that and it just seems like we're the ones with us being hayokas we mirror so many different things out that people need to see, you know, sociopaths, narcissistic folks do not ever want to call fault on the things that they do. But with the more energy that we are gravitating out, the more they start looking at themselves. Because sometimes I remember when I first started this situation during my awakening, I would lash out and do the same thing, mirror off to him what he was doing to me and now it's like I gotta catch myself and know that I'm past that now I can't keep allowing myself to be in that situation I have to be able to disconnect but knowing you have gone through this and being able to heal from it is a true blessing and knowing that you can be able to get out of a situation like this is a tremendous blessing because there's too many people are out here that are missing that are coming up dismembered children coming up dead i mean there's so many sad cases i could not be a caseworker i you know i give it to them whoever is a caseworker you I, you know they got to be some empaths but you got to be some empaths with some metal minds because there ain't no way <laughs> no way i can be able to take a job like that because i would take it to heart you know because i had friends that were social workers i was like how do you do your job and it was like, girl, there's some time I take it home with me. I said, I cannot do it. I'll say a blessing for you. Because there'll be some times I would have been skull dragging somebody out their house if I find out that they did something to their kids. Or, you know, the babies come up acting on, you know, all messed up or whatever. But knowing us as empaths, we tend to gravitate towards those people because the most broken people are the ones that need help. Because we always figure out, why the hell are we always attracting narcissistic people? Why are we the ones that sit up here and have psychopaths and sociopaths in our family? Because we have chosen them before we even came down to this lifetime. We are these, we know, okay, looking at these situations, oh, they really need help. They really need the most healing because they came from the broken homes and we need to be able to break that cycle to let you know if I can do it, you can do it. You know, it's your turn, even though it's time for you to go ahead and break the cycle. Like I've told y'all, if y'all been with me for a while, y'all have heard me sit up here and say the karmic cycle is ending with you. The, the generational curse is ending with you. If they don't, they don't learn from you from breaking off this curse, they're going to have to go through this again. But you know you are dealing with this for a reason because they need the healing from the most because they are the most broken. They're the most ones that need to be mended, healed, and educated, and everything else. So knowing those are the signs that you need to work out for, listen to, the ones that are clingy, the ones that are, you know, very obsessive, the ones that, you know, got the OCD, but like sleeping with an enemy like OCD, ready to knock your, you know, I can turn a, I turn a type, knock the spit out of you just because you got something crooked you know you have to work out for you know look out for stuff like that so you know if you've been through a situation like this knowing you know if you you need to seek shelter please do but if you pay attention to the signs look for the red flags you know seek for help if you really need to because i know some people are just sticking a situation feeling like they're going to change when they're not some of them are just verbal and mental and that's bad enough it is just because you don't put your hands on somebody you can still mess somebody's mind up mentally but knowing we're the ones is weird way we're the one who's trying to help them heal in those crazy situations so if you resonate with the content of this video i hope you're able to resonate which i hope you don't but if you do i hope you can seek 
solace, I mean, peace through all this situation. So drop me a line, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and know that you are truly blessed, highly loved, and forever favored. Knowing there's somebody always, you know, praying out there for your better days. And I'm uh, giving a shout out to K uh, Carrie Cop uh, Copus Nets. I think I pronounced your last name right. I apologize if I didn't. And Crystal as Brooks and Diamond King. Much love to you. Peace and be wild. Well.